What's going on? It's Katie here. And today I want to show you how to create proxies in Premiere Pro in 2024. I do have a video on this already, but I noticed some people are asking similar questions and others are saying that certain buttons are missing. So I figured it's time to make an updated version with the latest version of Premiere Pro. So let's hop into it. Select the clips you want to make proxies for, right click, proxy, then create proxies. These are my preferred settings, but feel free to adjust as you'd like. I go with half on frame size, but if you really need to speed your system up, you can go down to quarter. It'll just be a little more blurry when you're editing. Preset H264 QuickTime Proxy. I love having the proxy watermark, so I would recommend turning it on. Location, I like to keep my proxies next to the original media, but you can select your preferred location. Click OK and you'll see Media Encoder has opened and it's already started creating your proxies. Once Media Encoder has finished, you can close it out and then head back over to Premiere. Now to turn our proxies on, we need to select the proxy icon and make sure it turns blue. If you don't have this tool, just go to the plus sign and drag it over. Once this button is blue, you'll see the proxy watermark and you'll see the quality drop. This means that you're now working with the proxies. I'm pretty sure you actually can export with the proxy button still turned on and it'll export the original media, but at the time of making this, I'm not 100% sure of that and I didn't want to be misleading, so I, for safety, turned the button off anyway, but if any of you actually know the answer to that, please drop it below. I would love to know. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and I'll see you next time with another tutorial.